Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we'll be covering the slowest falling KOs ever seen in MMA. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. We see knockouts so fast and powerful, they have fighters flying to the canvas almost instantly. Or we have the occasional strike that has the fighter hurt till he crumples to the mat just to eat a few more blows. But how often do we see a fighter get hit so hard they have no time to register what just happened as they slowly fall like a tree? We've seen this happen a handful of times, but it gives testament to the fighter about how much power they got in those punches and kicks. Plus, there's nothing more badass than seeing your opponent slowly fall to the canvas after getting knocked out cold. For this video, we've compiled a list of instances where MMA fighters got hit with a crazy strike, which resulted in them falling to sleep in a very slow manner. We also want to give a super quick shout out to Christian Ignacio for the video idea. Number 12, Impa Kasanganai. Just Impa's face and how his body reacted to this kick made the knockout look even even better than it already was. They are so even on total strikes at the moment. Oh! Back in October of 2020, when Impa Kitsong and I fought Joaquin Buckley, Little expected to see a knockout so terrifying that it had the fighter fall backwards like a chopped down tree. In the middle of the second round, Impa successfully failed by catching a kick from Buckley, but leaving his hand down and his chin open for a beautiful spinning Tekken like kick, which landed flush on his face. As soon as the kick landed, Impa was completely out as his lifeless body slowly fell backwards, prompting the end of the bout. Number 11, Torbjorn Madsen. Have you ever seen a fighter completely frozen on their feet as they also get knocked out? Yep. Both he's got oh, oh, fantastic spinning back oh, elbow. At EFC 75, Torbjorn took on Mazwandele Halongwa in their exciting middleweight bout, but no one was prepared for what they were about to see next. With both guys showing their skills in the first round, many people thought that the Norwegian fighter would be able to somewhat put his opponent away. That would all change when he would push the pace a little too much to where Halongwa would land a perfect 1-2 combo then have his spinning forearm land flush on the chin. This gave Madsen his first loss and has not competed since. But it did have him falling backwards for what felt like more than 10 seconds. Number 10, Tim Sylvia. UFC veteran Tim Sylvia was given no mercy in this fight against merciless Ray Mercer. The kick by Sylvia. Mercer, ready, aim, fire. Good night. End of story. This being Ray's pro MMA debut had to be even better since he had prompted there was to be a no kicking rule that did not stop Sylvia as he would attempt a sloppy kick, then have Ray looking disappointed. A few seconds after this kick, Ray would lure him in and wait to counter with an extremely powerful overhand right as he himself would fall, but Tim Sylvia would look like Timber Sylvia as he would slowly fall backwards and be out for the count. This all happened in the first round at Adrenaline MMA 3 bragging right. Number 3 Ben Doster If somehow our channel has inspired y'all to be an MMA fighter, do not be that douche that fakes a glove touch. Here we go, come in event of the evening opens very early with a Ben- Oh! And that's it! Game over! Ben Doster learned this lesson first-handed at BFC 1 back in 2021 against Umakhan Ibrahimov. Well, they did still touch gloves, but Ben immediately used that to slip in a cheeky kick, which did not sit well with the Dagestani native. Literally a few seconds after this had happened, Umakhan would land a beautiful head kick which had Ben's lights out. Ben would immediately be hunched over as he would slowly fall to the canvas face first. Also, don't try to fight with your hands low like Connor. Number 8, Hama Worthy. Rule number one, always keep your hand up even when you think you don't need to, because in most cases, you, you do. Oh, done. Kama Worthy learned this the hard way in his crazy fight against Matt Bissett as CES MMA 29. This insane TKO came by the hands of Matt in the second round. Kama was already getting dominated in the first, but when it hit the mid of the second round, that's where it all ended. Kama rushed in with no plan as Matt would throw a left hook, then follow up with an insane right hook, which had a worthy loose control on his left leg. From there on, he would crumple to the canvas slowly out. Number 7, Corin Eaton. Though this fight was very fast paced, it was funny to see a slow falling knockout occur in the first round. These two had put on an absolute war in the first round, with Eaton dominating most of it. 
Theo, his opponent, did a great job of staying composed considering him being a little behind. This would all change as the fighters disconnected from the clinch and ended up back in the center of the cage where Theo had a surprise for his opponent. A very swift and powerful elbow from Theo landed flush on the chin of his opponent causing him to slowly descend and have his head bounce off the canvas in a terrifying fashion. Number 6, Ader De Souza. We bet this strike is something you for sure don't want to get hit by. In this insane fight at WWFC 11 back in 2018, Ader De Souza would be defending his title against Roman, but things wouldn't go according to plan. The fighters would trade then clinch most of the final round, but the exciting KO came in the second when Roman had his opponents backed up against the cage. He would then taunt his opponent as would his opponent back at him, till he would throw a left jab then an overhand right flush on the chin. This had Ader slowly fall against the cage in the floor. Number 5 Solomon Rogers. Okay, now this one was pretty terrifying. This knockout had Solomon Rogers out cold, falling slowly to the canvas as he would be hunched over. Oh, and missing a tooth. Is that a bit of desperation with the- Oh! This horrendous knockout came to us by Samuel L. Nicky in the second round after both fighters would trade for most of it. It all started when Samuel tried to go for a single leg which would fail, then would wind up an obvious kick. This made Solomon think it was going to be a head kick, prompting him to lower his hands and duck. This was a pretty big fail as it would land perfectly and have the fighter's lights dim. Number 4, Holly Torres. Now this spinning back fist was no joke. Holly Torres squared off against Jessica Middleton back in 2014 at BFC 26 and this knockout didn't disappoint. This fight was a decent slugfest as both combatants really tried to take each other's heads off. Jessica Middleton, or the fighter in the purple, already had a bloody nose in the beginning of the fight. No fighter was truly in trouble till Holly would not anticipate Jessica spitting back fist. As this would land, Holly would slowly fall back as Jessica would lean over her. Number 3 Brian Hall as y'all can tell, most of these knockouts have come by way of overhand rights and just some carelessness. This exciting matchup, Brian Hall faced off against Demacio Page and delivered one of the best knockouts seen in the LFC promotion. Oh! The best part of this fight was that it was Demacio Page who was almost finished in the first round. The script would be flipped about a minute and a half later when Page would rush his opponent and throw an overhand right. Hall thought it was a great idea to drop his hands, but would pay for it as he would fall backwards slowly and land on the back of his head. Number 2 Hollis Gracie This was the most interesting loss in any fighter's MMA debut. You have that and you're eating a jab at the same time. Oh, oh, got him, a big right. Naaman timed it and Naaman has decked him. This fight took place back in 2013 at WSOF and ended in the second round of the bout. Hollas and Derek Memmott spent most of the fight trading rather than taking it to the ground, but his very rare knockout came in the second when Derek Memmott threw a straight left and a powerful right which landed flush. The second it landed, Hollas Gracie started walking in the opposite direction as his body slowly gave out. Number 1 Terry Adam Let's just hope no one ever gets hit with something like this in a fight. It really poses the question, what do you want to do? Do you right. want to take a chance and risk getting knocked out? Oh my god! Oh! This must be one of the best knockouts ever seen in the UFC. The power was so much to where it made Terry Adam look like a marble sculpture right as the kick had landed. It all started with a shot to the body, then a leg kick from Barbosa as he would pull back for a second. When he would wind up the spinning heel kick, Terry dropped his hands thinking it was going to go to the body. Unfortunately for him, he was wrong and he would fall back slowly whilst being completely stiff. And that right there concludes this video. If you made it this far, let us know how we did in the comments below. 